guys, welcome back to The Nerdy Collector and today I am doing a haul video. I went up to London this week to do a pop hunt. Unfortunately I didn't film, I just was doing a, like a pop hunt just to find some stuff. Don't worry, there will be a pop hunt video coming next week, I'm going to head out and do one then. But I didn't really expect to pick up much, we just went shopping I thought I'd pop into um, uh, Forbidden Planet. And um, yeah, I brought a hell of a lot of stuff. So let me roll through what I managed to pick up. So um, let's waste no time and start showing you guys what I got. Uh, I did pop to game straight off and um, just to check because sometimes they have a chase, you never know. It's very, very, very rare to find that, but I thought, you know what, I'm gonna pop to the game and I'm gonna have a look. And um, they had loads of single pops, um, 12 99 each. And um, they had this double pack for 12 99 which is the Hardys. The Hardy Boys there, that was $12.99 for two, for Matt and Jeff, so I was really pleased with that. I thought they might have just, um, they might have just um, priced it up wrong, but no, they did not, that was the case. It was $12.99, I'm trying to get it to focus. It was $12.99, which is a fantastic steal for Matt and Jeff. There's the back of the box there as well. I managed to pick that up for, as you can see there, $12.99. Really cool addition to my WWE collection. I'm really, really pleased with those. Right, guys, so then I went to Forbidden Planet and I started to pick up some things. Now, the first thing I picked up is Nearly Headless Nick from Harry Potter. I um, picked that one up as this is one that I've been after for a long time. So I'll let you guys have a closer look at Nick there if it focuses. Sorry for the other screen. There he is, Harry Potter. Nick, nice picture, nearly had this Nick on the side, obviously played by John's Cleese in the movies. And there's a nice picture of the back of the box. I do like this new Harry Potter packaging, much prefer it, the white, all white over, really do like this. So I picked up nearly had this Nick for £10, which is a good deal for me. Really pleased with this pop. And they do, Forbidden Planet do like a 3 for 30. So in that 3 for 30, I needed to complete something from my Rick and Morty collection. So I picked up Scary Terry. Um, one of my favourite characters in Rick and Morty. Been putting it off for a while, picking it up. Because you know, I don't know if you guys feel the same, but sometimes some pops aren't too rare. So you just leave them. You think, I'm going to buy the rarer ones. And then one day I'll go back and I'll pick this up. Well, today was that day. I saw it there, I just recently watched the Scary Terry episode again and he was fresh in my mind and I thought I have to pick him up so I'm really really pleased that I managed to get Scary Terry. There's a picture of him on the side there and um, there's stuff on the back of Scary Terry and so that's really really cool. So then in my 3 for 30 I picked up this one. It is the Alfred Hitchcock Director Pop. Now this was really cool. I did see this in my local comic book shop for around like £18 which I thought no I'm not paying that. As soon as I saw it I thought I must have it though because I do like the film The Psycho and that will look great next to my Norman Bates black and white pop and colour pop. Uh, yeah so I will display, I will keep Alfred's box but I'm going to display him out of the box next to the uh, psycho Norman Bates which is really cool and we get a nice picture of Alfred on the back there and I'm going to do some reviews on this upcoming weekend guys so if you want reviews of any of these pops hit the like button and don't forget to let me know in the comments but I'm definitely going to be doing a review of old Alfred Hitchcock there he is a fantastic director and uh, I'm really glad to have him in my pop collection then guys my girlfriend brought me this in the sale she picked up this she noticed I didn't have this in my collection it is Eugene for $6.99 from The Walking Dead which I think personally is a really really good deal I really like Eugene one of, the, one of my favourite characters in The uh, Walking Dead. He's quite annoying and irritating which I kind of like. There's the side of the box and um, there's the back of the box. I just need that Negan now and I've completed all of this from this wave. I just need to wait for the next wave of Walking Dead. But for $6.99 you can't really leave him as I have most of the um, Walking Dead pops. He can now go along with my Abraham and Rosita in that collection. So that would be really cool. So uh, really glad she picked me up Eugene. Thank you Jess. Thank you very much for that. And then guys I saw this pop in there which I thought I must have as soon as I saw it. Uh, it is um, Spyro the Dragon with Sparks and um, this is amazing pop. I have taken it out of the box but um, it is a really really nice Sorry, the box bags for there. It is a really, really nice paint job on this, and it's a really cool looking pop. It's a nice pop to hold. Uh, I think you guys understand what I'm saying, but it's one you must have. I don't have a Crash Bandicoot, which I really, really want. Now I've got Spyro to go along with Crash. 
Um, this will be reviewed because it's such a great pop. I would, I really want you guys to um, get a really good review of this pop because I really want you guys to go and pick it up. You can't really see it too much through the packaging. I'm not going to take it out here because I want you guys to tune into my review. So make sure you subscribe to see the Spyro review. It will be up very, very shortly. Probably the beginning of next week. I'll do these at the weekend. And um, Spyro will be on my list definitely to review. So make sure you check this out. Fantastic pop. Pick him up. 10.99, what a bargain. And then lastly guys, I picked up this. I picked up this Daenerys Targaryen on the dragon. Now this is a damaged box pop and I know you guys are thinking, ah, damaged box, oh, what are you gonna do? It's fine, it's just the lip here and to be honest, um, it's, this is too much of a nice pop to display in box. They wanted 34.99 for it, I picked it up if you can see there, if it's going to focus first, it's obviously going to be backwards for $14.99. It says damaged. I've had it out of the box. I've had a look. It's definitely not damaged as a pop. It is only damaged on the box, which is fine because to be honest, this box is, I've got so many pops in box, I could probably do without having this box cluttering around in my collection. So I'm going to have her displayed one side of the shelf when I get my Game of Thrones shelf sort of set up sorted. And I'm going to have the Night King on the dragon on the other side. So she is a really good pop for 15 quid. And even the dragon alone is worth that. So I'm really, really glad I got this. Uh, it was just in the sales section, guys. So check your sales section sometimes on the um, Forbidden Planet. So I've got a good couple of bargains there before, I believe. I got like a Plu Koon and Kit Fistu Star Wars Underground Toys exclusive there. And it was the box just a little bit dinked and it was like hardly noticeable. But some collectors are very sort of really picky. I'm not one of those. If it's a chase or an exclusive, then I'm definitely going to be picky. I want to keep that in box. I'm not a psycho. I'm not going to be taking those out of box. I might take out this box of display, but I'm going to keep them in box. But your box standard pop, like the... I would say, for example, the Nearly Headless Nick and the Eugene, they're coming out of box because I don't buy to sell. So they're going to come out of the box. They look cool out of the box when you've got a big collection. You can set them out, I have to admit, but I won't be keeping that in the box at all. But this will be really cool. And I'm going to, guys, I'm going to show you my Game of Thrones collection soon. I just don't have enough room at the moment with my current shelving and my current living situation. I need to wait until I can set up more shelves to show you guys like a tour of all my stuff. But I might show you guys all my Game of Thrones collection laid out. So, yeah. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. Or Walking Dead or select Telly Selection. I've got a good Stranger Things collection. Anything. So let me know. But yeah, this is really cool. So I've picked up some great stuff, guys. Thank you for watching me ramble on for ages in this video. A pop hunt will be coming next Saturday. Subscribe for that. Like for reviews of these. Drop me a comment below which ones you'd like to see reviews of the most. Spyro's definitely getting a review. So even if you guys don't want to see it, it's coming. Because it is freaking awesome. And um, don't forget to follow me in all forms of social media. Like I said, subscribe hit the like button comment below and guys i'll see you next time bye bye